Farmers meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, 548. Welcome to our final day of November. We get ready to flip the calendar tomorrow to December. So let's talk about what it should be like normally on November 30th. Typically we see highs around 41 and Boise morning lows around 27 degrees. Today will be about 40 degrees, so a pretty typical November 30th. We are much colder than average this morning, though, not the negative one. That's a record low for this date from 1896. And it looks like we are going to wrap up November wetter than average, though most of this precipitation fell in the span of just a couple of days. We did see over four inches of snow in Boise this month, but that all happened most of it anyway. Three uh, three inches of that happened in one day earlier this month. So here's what we've been looking at for the last week or so. Again, typically we're around 41. We've seen those temperatures for the past week hovering in the low 40s. We dipped down to just 37. This was on Saturday back up to 40 yesterday. And again, that's about where we'll be today. Here's that fog I've been talking about all morning. This area has expanded now of reduced visibility stretching all the way along Highway 95 down towards Ontario from McCall. Boise Mountain Hall, Magic Valley. Valley still pretty clear, but we could see these areas or the foggy areas kind of getting bigger and denser. That visibility will continue to get poorer and poorer. So maybe allow a couple extra minutes if you're waking up in the west end of the valley and have to get into the Boise area. That fog will slow you down. Here's what's on the move today. There is a cold front draped across the Pacific Northwest, pushing precipitation to the east. So by about midday, I think we'll start seeing some snow flying around McCall and our central mountain locations, potentially stretching as far south as Idaho City. I don't think this moisture is going to reach the Treasure Valley at the most. We may have a little sprinkle out there this afternoon and some increasing clouds. This turns over to just spotty snow showers by this evening and then by tomorrow morning it's pretty much all over and done with another very cold start on our hands tomorrow with those temperatures into the 20s and then this will be the trend from here on out for the rest of the week. We see no more precipitation, nothing but sunshine and seasonably cool conditions. So we're starting off December on a pretty dry note. As far as temperatures go in the Treasure Valley this afternoon. Upper 30s to right around 40. Mountain home, if we'll see a little more sunshine there, temperatures may climb to about 44 degrees. It will just depend on how long we keep the sun around before those clouds move in later this afternoon. A little foggy to kick things off in the mountains with some sunshine, sunshine breaking through later this morning and then those snow showers this afternoon. Upper 20s from McCall, Donnelly and Cascade. We may have an inch on the ground, maybe inch and a half for places like McCall before it's over and done with today. 29 for Stanley, 36 in Sun Valley, 34 in Fairfield. Stanley may see some snow. I don't think the Wood River Valley is going to see much, if anything. Maybe just a few flurries in the Sun Valley area. Temperatures will hit the 40s in the Magic Valley, but a chilly breeze blowing there. And then, like I said, after this, we are predictable. Sunshine highs around 40 each and every afternoon from now all the way through the coming weekend.